Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So a little way back, I did my first Kumahimo video. In that video, I did some simple keychains with the same color all the way through. Here they are, just as a reminder. I thought I'd revisit the craft, and so for this video, I wanted to show how you use more than one color. I made these color choices in advance based on how well I thought they worked together and what would look good, but really, it just boils down to personal taste. There is a small caveat I'd like to add to that, and that is just because the colors look good together when you place them next to each other, doesn't necessarily mean they will show up that well once they are woven. And the particular weave pattern I've chosen demonstrates that quite clearly. You also need to take into account the thread color as well, particularly for beads that are transparent or have clear sections in them. But anyway, I tend to use these factors to my advantage when I want subtlety in the finished item. For this project, I picked yellow and green because I felt they looked good together. And here I also have their respective strings picked out. The next one, I am using beige and pink. But admittedly, I chose the beige because I didn't have any white beads in the same sort of um, luster finish as the previous beads mentioned. The last one is a different kind of bead altogether. These are silver lined beads and I chose a dark amber and a slightly golden amber. The colour subtlety I mentioned earlier will really show with these two in particular. Next to each other they stand out but once weaved together they blend in quite well. You'll see the others at the end but for the purposes of filming I went with this pair, a lime green and a dark green. The lime green thread is slightly off, but it works more than the mint green thread I had earlier. With everything gathered and ready, it's time to figure out a pattern. I mentioned a pattern earlier, didn't I? Well, if you are familiar with Kumahimo, this isn't going to be new for you, but I think it might be helpful for anyone who's a complete beginner. On the website friendshipbracelet.net, I will provide the link below in the description, there's a very useful pattern generator. You don't have to be logged in or even sign up to use the generator, so don't worry about that. It's free to use. Once you're on there, you can change the colors if needed, increase and decrease the number of strings, and see the changes take effect in real time. I found this really helpful when I was still a beginner, and it can help a lot when aiming for more complicated patterns. I decided to go with another 8 warp string and I chose to go with the striped pattern. So with that being said, we now know how to lay out our strings. In this case, with the same colour strings directly opposite each other, that will create the striped pattern. I measured and cut my strings off camera as I've covered the keychain and Kumahimo disc setup in a previous video. I will insert the link to that video in the description box below. But if you haven't seen that, please do, as it has all the measurements as well as the actual technique and a few tips. Because I'm using two colours here, I cut two threads of each colour, which when folded in half will give us the eight warps or the, the eight strings. I also went ahead and strung the beads off camera just to save some time. You don't really need to watch me string so many beads. I started off the weaving with a few rounds just using the string as this gives the beads a bit more space to nestle into once I start adding them in. From here on out it's just a matter of weaving and adding a bead each time. I'll keep quiet for this and let you enjoy some speed kumihimo goodness.
last bead has been weaved in, I continued for a few more rounds just like in the beginning. After I'd done enough, I took two opposite strings and made a knot to secure everything and stop the string from unravelling. I put the strings back onto the disc to regain the tension and this made it easier to apply the glue. You can of course use any type of glue that dries clear. I'm just using an all-purpose glue here which, is, which seems to be um, a gel type glue but you can literally use any glue. I suggest you add a small dot of glue right at the knot for extra security and then leave it to dry for a few minutes. Five minutes later. After the glue had dried, I went ahead and undid all the knots at the end of each string. I mean, this doesn't sound as tedious as it is because the Eslon thread is actually quite stiff. So as long as you're not pulling tight on the knots at the end, they will come undone fairly easily. You may also have noticed that the weave is short this time and this is on purpose. I'm not actually done yet. So with the knots taken out, I strung on my large bead. Do yourself a favour here if you try this and just use a slightly larger hold bead than I am. I mean, it did fit in the end, but sometimes I struggle a bit with this part and it's usually getting the last string in that's a complete nightmare. Once I did that though, I started to string on more beads. Yes, even more beads at the end of each thread. Now, in this case, I chose to do like for like beads and strings, but you can easily switch it up. You can even choose to do alternating colors. It's entirely up to you. You don't even have to use all the strings either. You can do just a few and then cut the rest off. This time round, I was aiming for fullness and a tassel-like effect. So I did all eight strings. The number of beads here is again completely up to personal choice, but once I had all the beads I wanted, I tied a simple knot at the end and added a fairy charm. So at this point we are basically done. All that was left was to cut off the ends and introduce the threads to fire to seal them. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and even consider subscribing if you like the content I create. Don't forget to eat that bell button to be notified whenever I upload a new video and let's weave our way into the beauty shots. See you in the next one. Bye.